Yeah. On my grind all day, gonna make a million sun that someday. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to backflip tail whip. Quick tip for a backflip tail whip, uh, you should already know how to do a backflip and a tail whip, and it helps if there's a foam pit to try and learn these two tricks. If you don't know how to do a backflip, make sure to check out my really cringe tutorial on my YouTube channel and my how to tail whip tutorial. Step one, for backflip tail whips, you should know how to do a backflip and when you're in the air, just look at your front wheel. So doing that, you're just doing a backflip and when you're halfway done, you just quickly have a quick glance at your front wheel and when you can have a look at your front wheel for about a second, then that's pretty good. Step two, so now you can do a backflip and look at your front wheel and feel confident about it. What you want to do is do a backflip, look at your front wheel and just spin your deck around. You don't need to worry about trying to get your feet on it, just spin it around and keep on, yeah, just spin it and make sure that you can land on your feet nice and safe. Step three for a uh, backflip tail. So now what you want to do is when you're watching your, your deck spin around, you want to make sure you get one foot onto it. It can be your back foot or your front foot, it doesn't really matter, but it would just be easier just to spin it and get one foot onto it. And then if you're spinning too hard, then you'll land on both of your feet. So now it's time to try to throw them all together and get both your feet on when you do it. Really good tip with backflip tricks is you don't want to go up the quarter and fling a backflip as hard as you can. Because if you try to fling it as hard as you can and you catch the whip, you're going to zoom and smash your head and that's not very good. Because that's what I was doing. When I would do them, I would just backflip as hard as I could and try to spin it around. But what you want to do is do a backflip nice and slow. That's why backflipping, looking at your front wheel, will help you keep your speed. And then as soon as you catch it, when you're coming down, you can push out and they'll slow you down. Or if you tuck it in more, they'll help you spin a bit quicker. So it's all about learning how to judge it properly. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial on how to backflip tail. Make sure if you're going to try these tricks for the first time, you should at least have a helmet, knee pads, maybe even elbow pads, and definitely your shoes. And it always helps if there's a mattress at the skate park or you have a foam pit, greasy, or even wood. Because if you're doing it straight to concrete, something might go wrong and you don't want to risk that. Make sure to stay for next week's tutorial on how to heel kickless bright flip. Another one.